hey guys if you're new here welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel happy holidays you guys today we will be prepping a christmas turkey i have a 24 pounder here i know i posted the other day that i was gonna take off the legs and the wings that thing is huge i'm not doing that so we're gonna season it up i'm gonna show you how to make the most juiciest turkey you ever had in your life yes i promise you so let's step let's get into this video I promise you, I cannot make up <laughs> how huge this thing is, this turkey is. It's already been washed. We're about to pack dry. Get her seasoned up. Okay. Let me see what's the angle. Okay, you guys, don't be nervous. It's just a turkey. It's a big chicken. That's it. A lot of people get overwhelmed when it comes to the holidays and it's time to cook turkey. Don't. We don't want a, a dry turkey. We don't want a dry turkey, you guys. So I'm going to show you how to make the best, juiciest turkey ever. Right now, I'm just cutting up my onion and I have two stalks of celery that I'm going to rinse. You guys ready? Okay. So what you want to do is wash your turkey very, very thoroughly. You see how it come in even unhook this. See how the, if, it, if you do this, it comes with this, but you can unhook it. And you can wash under there, on the inside of the cavity, under this part. Let me show y'all. Under there, we want everything nice and clean. Very thoroughly. You want to take out the insides. The stuff that's on the inside of the turkey, like your gizzard, uh, the heart, the neck, all that. I've, I've taken that out. I've rinsed this bad boy up. I'm going to add some oil to the turkey because we want our seasoning to stick. So I'm just using some regular vegetable oil. If you have olive oil, that's perfect, but I don't. And we want to just massage the bird all over because we want our seasonings to stick to it. See, this is my neck. We massage this as well. Gizzard all over. Wing. Next, what we're going to do is, I'm going to, what I'm going to do here, so the, the key to a, a juicy turkey, um, I put a garlic and butter um, <clears throat> mixture together, and I place on each breast. Um, I, if you see my um, lemon um, roasted chicken video, I do the same thing that I do for, you know, my chicken. I do the same thing for my turkey. So what I'm going to do is gently lift the skin up. And you want to go under the cavity. And this little piece here, I'm actually going to take it off. <clears throat> I hope y'all having a good holiday. Y'all out there doing last minute shopping. I'm going to take this little piece off. I don't like the way it looks. So, what we want to do, we want to gently separate from the skin and the breast. Under here, you see this? And you just want to gently go all the way back. Be careful not to tear the skin of the turkey. Go all the way over the entire breast cavity. Because this is where all that yumminess is going to go. And we want to do it for both sides. Separate the skin. See if I can do a close up. You just want to separate that. Don't tear it gently. Gently. 
Awesome. You're doing well. You're doing well. Next, what we're going to do is... Show my camera. Okay. The season I'm going to be using is Larry's. And, um, well, we'll get into the seasonings. But let's go ahead and get our butter mixture together. I have a cup and a half of butter. I'm using um, country crock. I have six loaves of fresh garlic cloves. I would suggest using fresh instead of mints. Sometimes mints have like an aftertaste. Um, and you don't want that. And I'm going to just add my garlic right in here. And we want flavor throughout the turkey. So I'm just going to add a little seasoning to it. Y'all can see. Let's see. My hands. The oil. <laughs> so yeah, going to. This is about half a teaspoon of seasoned salt. I also have some MSG here. This is optional, but if you want your turkey to taste exactly like mine's, I I'm suggesting that you use this. Half teaspoons of Lari's, some onion powder, half a teaspoon, pepper, Half a teaspoon of pepper and some garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder as well. So <clears throat> you want to melt this in the microwave maybe about 20 seconds because we don't want it running. We want like a chunky texture to it. Be right back. So this is what our softened butter look like. I'm going to get a spoon and we're going to mix this all together. See, it's just a softened butter because we're going to spread this under the breast cavity. You guys, please try this recipe. I promise you. I promise you the family will love this. And you know what? Sometimes I even squeeze fresh lemon juice in here if you want your turkey to have like a, a lemon taste to it, a lemon herb taste. I also add that today. I'm not going to do that. So, we'll, and you're fixing turkey, you guys. You got to get your hands messy, right? So, what I'm going to do is take a. There we go. Can y'all see that? I'll bring it up. I'm just going to take. Go right in. I'm going right in. And this is what I'm doing. If I can scoop this over so y'all can see. Put my camera real close. Right in this cavity, right here. I'm going right in. And you can make a ball. Usually I make a ball. And you see all that yumminess? I spread throughout the entire cavity. It's okay that it's messy, it's fine all the way over this cavity just like that and i'm gonna go in and do the other side make a butter ball <laughs> literally butter ball in the butter ball all right and go in here under the breast cavity and you just want to smooth this right on over all the way over and we're going to use all of this we're not letting this go to waste and 
and you can marinate this for 24 to 48 hours. Make sure that none is gone to waste. Let me rinse my hands. Be right back. Okay. So, now it's time for us to season up this bird. Season salt. And I'm gonna do a three-dimensional. Gonna turn this bird so y'all can see me season up everything, including on a neck. Have the butt here as well. The butt is my favorite. Next, we're going to do MSG. It's optional. You don't have to use it. But if you want your turkey to taste exactly like mine, you're going to have to use it. But once again, it is optional. Gonna use our onion powder. Garlic powder. I love, love, love a juicy turkey. And it's actually been years since I've even had a whole turkey. I usually get the turkey breast. Um, <clears throat> but my aunt gave me this turkey. And I said, there's no need for me to waste money buying another turkey breast when we can just eat a whole turkey. That saves the money. Next, we're going to be using pepper. So, Tony's Creole seasoning. This stuff is amazing. I want y'all to try this recipe. Y'all gonna enjoy it. And so are the family as well. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know. It's the cayenne pepper. I said it every time I use this seasoning. It's the cayenne pepper that had me either sneeze or cough. We're gonna be using some oregano. Don't worry, I'm gonna get that because it's bothering me. I'm gonna get it. 
I'm gonna get it. <laughs> um, next poultry seasoning. And we gotta be careful. You see how big these holes are? Gotta sprinkle. Don't wanna use too much of this because it can be very overpowering and has a strong taste. And I'm gonna be using some paprika. This is gonna give it that beautiful brown color. And like I said, you can um, season your bird up. You can marinate it for 24 to 48 hours. The longer it marinates, the more tender it, be it becomes. Uh, um, no, I said we're going to prep it, but I'm going to go ahead and fix this turkey because I want y'all, I want y'all to see what I do when I'm making my turkey recipe and show you how, how it comes out. And tomorrow's going to be really hectic because I have a lot of other dishes that I have to prepare. And I won't have the chance to show you guys. Also, um, this is optional as well. This is Cajun seasoning. Um, eh, I don't think I want to use this. So, that's our bird. I'm going to finish seasoning up the parts that's not seasoned. And I'll be right back. So, guys, I'm back. So, what I've done is I literally went back over the turkey and looked at the spots that were empty looked like it didn't have seasoning i even look oh you can't see me sorry guys got under these legs yes i even seasoned the inside um you didn't see that part because the turkey is really really heavy i can't lift it by myself so i literally had to by hand go inside the cavity and put the seasoning inside the turkey but yes i do season the inside as well so now we're going to lock our legs in. Well, first, I have a whole onion. Whole onion. Then we're going to just stick right in there. We have, this is my two stalks of celery that I just um, cut up into twos. Stuff it all the way in there. And if you want to, you can add a lemon in here as well. I'm not going to do that. Um, and also, I have some garlic. Some leftover chopped garlic that I had. And I'm going to add that in there as well. And I have a little bit of my butter mixture left. I'm just going to... Sprinkle it, put that all the way in there. And I have an oven bag that this big boy is going into because they also have these. Keeps the moisture in your turkey. leftover garlic on my hands and all you do this is what it looks like you put your turkey whoop, once I get the bag open you put your turkey inside the bag so we're going to work this out. I want to show you guys, for those of you who have never used oven bags, but like I said, the circuit is really heavy. Um, so I'm going to do it off camera and I'm going to show you what it looks like once I finish. And you cut slits on top of it, like um, maybe like half an inch to 
two inches slits all over it. You don't have to put um, any water or any um, chicken broth in the bottom of the bag. Just let it go. I got my uh, oven preheated for 325 because of the size of this bird. She, she, he will be cooking for four and a half to five hours. Be right back. Voila. <laughs> okay. So everything's in here. I'm going to close up my bag. And they have like these little ties. So you can close your bag up. Wait a minute. Is this the one with the ties? Yeah, where's my tie thingy? Hmm. Oh, you know what? I got an extra one. So, this is what the ties look like. This is actually two. I'm going to separate that. And look how well seasoned that turkey looked, you guys. I mean, just, I'm telling you, it's going to be delish. And you don't, you want to try to prevent the bag from uh, touching the top because you want to season and stay on. And don't worry about the egg that's, the air that's in the bag because once you put slits in it, that'll just come out. So we'll just take it, oh, see if I can put it inside, and do it like this. See if I can get closer. And you just place it in here. And it has ridges on it, and you just pull it. That's it. So now we're going to place our slits in our bag because our oven is ready. And you um, have to put the slits in on top of your bag so that when your turkey is steaming, it has somewhere to um, let out the, the steam. And you're just going to do this all over. And I'm trying to make sure that I've covered everything, all bases. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section for me. Once again, this is a 24-pound turkey, 23 to 24 pound turkey. It, I have my oven on 325, and it will be cooking for four and a half to five hours. I also have a um, thermostat that I will be checking one of these little gauges right here um, to see when my turkey is done. If you have one of these. So if you have one of these to um, and you, this size bird, it should say between 165. It used to be 180, but once you take your bird out of the oven, it actually still cooks. It, it, that's why you have to let it rest for maybe 30 to 45 minutes to an hour. So. I'm gonna finish placing my slits in my bag. I think we're pretty good. I just wanna make sure. What's your favorite holiday dish? Let me know. And you said, what's on the menu? All right, so we're all done here. Putting this bad boy in the oven as we spike. As we spike. Our turkey is finally done. After five and a half hours. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I hope you guys give this video a thumbs up. 
please try this recipe. You are going to love it. Remember, we didn't put any juice in here. Look how juicy it looks. We didn't put any chicken broth, any water at the bottom. Look at that. Gorge.